What's up, everybody? This is Samuel. Coming to you from the Small Fry Show. And I just had a situation that gave me a topic for this video. And on this video, we're going to talk about finding damage to equipment and reporting it. But before we get too deep in this thing, you already know what I need you to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the family. Also, the views and topics expressed in these videos are minds and minds only. They do not represent the company that I work for. I am not a spokesperson for said company. Now that we got that out the way, we just did a, uh, we dropped two empties here in Erie, Pennsylvania, picked up two loads. And by doing that, we, our tail trailer has some damage. Now I've told y'all, shiny damage is new damage. But also, any damage is needs to be reported. Because once you hook to it and pull it, guess what? It's on you. We need to get our hazmat situated. So whoever put these bills together, I don't know what they were doing, man, because we got bills that um, that should be marked with, we get this enforcer card. I can show you all this because it don't got no numbers on it. This enforcer card should have the trailer number on it and it don't. So it's up to me to match it up, which I will. But it's just an extra step that should have been completed and it wasn't. So I'll match it up with the bills they gave me, the master bill, and to know what trailer it goes with. That way, when these go, you know, one of these trailers goes back to Columbus, the other one is on a relay to Greensboro. That way they got the uh, paperwork that they need. Um, because I don't understand why it was done this way, and this other one is the same way. It's 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 not right. So it wasn't separated right, shall I say? So I'll, I'll check it out and uh, make it. I make it right. Cause you don't need two of these. You just need one for every. All the hazmat on the same trailer, one envelope with the bills, but they did it separate, so it made it look like the hazmat went with both trailers and it didn't. But that's not the topic of this video. I, I don't want to get off 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 track. Um, what I want to talk about is I picked up a trailer here with damage on it. So, what's the the process? I don't even need this. What's the process of reporting damage? The process is for number one, take pictures. Everybody got camera phones nowadays. And if you don't, your company should have you with an accident pack. Uh, and, that, and that accident pack, you should have a disposable camera. Take pictures. Those pictures, especially on your phone, are time stamped. Take pictures. Also, before you leave, whether you send a message, whether you call somebody on the phone, whether you do both, notify someone in management, the shop, somewhere you need to notify somebody. Somebody who, who is in a position of authority get their name, whoever you talk to, whatever. Hey, I'm here. So I called in and said, hey, listen, I'm here in Erie. My tail trailer, trailer such and such, has, you know, the front left corner is damaged. All right. Um, we 
No, I said it looks fairly new, but it don't matter. I I ain't even hooked to it yet. So he said, hey, send me send me some pictures to my email, and I did. Those emails is timestamp. So in the pictures, I got the trailer. I hit it from a couple different angles, but I also included the trailer number. If you want to, include the plate number. That that ties everything back to that trailer. And the good thing is. Especially with these bigger companies and the companies that have GPS and things like that. Like for us, we got a breadcrumb system. So they can see wherever where I tracked that I was still there and I hadn't even left yet. I was still hooked to my, my lead and my dolly because I was spotting my dolly because that was going to be my tail. Boom, send me the pictures. I got the pictures. Something's wrong right there. Oh. Uh, a piece of cardboard or something but it didn't blow away when I went by so something in there holding it down you don't run over stuff in the road oh no matter what it looks like oh so that right there I, co I covered myself as far as I took pictures I notified someone immediately you don't want to get going down the road and call and say oh man 30 minutes ago I was at Erie and this trailer got looked like it was hit and they're gonna be like nah man you already left with it and if, and if you don't report it, and, and let's say you don't report it. Oh, that looks old. I ain't reporting that. You get it back to the yard on the relay. The next driver gonna hook up to it to get it. And they call in, man, trailer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven got damaged here on the yard. And they're like, oh man, nobody reported that. Let's look, let's look in and see who pulled that last. They look it up and pull it. Man, Sermel pulled that last. So now they call me and say, hey, Sermel, you know, driver, you know, Joe Blow picked up the trailer. It got damaged. You was the last one that dropped it. It ain't moved. Oh, man, that was like that when I got there from Erie, man. I looked, oh, oh, nah. You was the last one to pull it. That's on you. That's how that works. But you need to cover yourself. CYA, cover your you know what. Because if not, it's coming back on you. So, boom, I called. I got pictures. He had me email him. So, also, when I get back to Columbus, because that's a relay, I'm going to write a DVIR up on it. That's going to be the last step of covering myself. Hey, I picked this trailer up in here. This is the number. This is where it's at. This is the damage. I got pictures. Because they may need to look at it and see if it's any structural damage. Oh, okay. You know what? What are you going to do? What they might do in Columbus is say, you know what, we gonna offload this onto another trailer. That way we can look at it and make sure it's good to go. We don't need more risk. So that's that process, but that's why doing pre-trip inspections and post-trip inspections is important because if you don't walk around, you ain't gonna catch the damage. Then it's gonna be, it could potentially be on you. That's something you wanna think about and keep in mind. Don't be lazy. Being lazy can cost you out here. I keep telling you all that. I keep telling you. Because you got guys out here that'll hit stuff and won't say nothing. Hoping they get somebody like you that's not paying attention. And, and uh, you know, then you got a situation on your hands. That's what they hoping. You don't want to be that. And y'all heard me talk about hash, man. We ain't placarded, so we don't got to stop at the tracks. No placard, no stop. Plus, those is, uh, I forget what they call those. Those ain't common tracks, but, so, you good, though. We ain't placarded, so, we strike. But, uh, yeah, so make sure you're reporting any and all damage, no matter how minor it is, report it, cover yourself, and, uh, You'll be all right in the long run. So that was just something I ran into tonight. I said, let me hop over here and make, make a quick video about it. I've showed y'all videos of the damage. Um, you know, shiny damage and what it looks like. And that's how you can determine if it's kind of new or not. But like I said, this, this trailer had been back to into in the front end. So it is a fairly new trailer. Not even a year old yet. Probably eight, nine months. So. We wanted to make sure we got that on record. So, as always, 
Make sure you ride to your pickup and your delivery on time and safely. Call your loved ones. Tell them you love them. Love on somebody today. But most importantly, be the reason that somebody smiles today. The world needs it now more than ever. The surveil coming to you from the one and only Small Fry Show. And I'm out. Peace.